you today? I'm doing good. How are you? Great. Tell me what it's like being part of K-State and all the new teammates and everything. Is the adjustment? I mean, is everything going all right? Tell me, tell me about it. Uh, it's going great, actually. Um, I feel like with this team, I feel like we've been together for a very long time, just like how all the guys are with each other. Uh, just the atmosphere, like everyone's always laughing and giggling. Uh, I think we really came close after uh, we did this uh, team, like uh, like team dr uh, drills called the program. It was like, like a team building thing. Yeah, we did a team building thing. It's called the program. And uh, I think we really became close. Like we got in the water. It was, you know, we had tough, uh, like they gave us like a drill to do and it was tough and some people couldn't swim on our team and we had to like hold hold them up. And I feel like we really became close. Like that was the moment where we all just kind of looked out for each other. I feel like we've known, like it's just, it's like family. It's like I've known these guys for four years already and I've only been here four months. Now, was this in a pool? Yeah, we were in a pool. Uh, we went to, uh, we went up to Junction City. We uh, went to the military base and got in the pool and did all different type of stuff. So it was pretty cool. And you came from Missouri, correct? Yes. And so did you ever see or do anything like that at your previous school? No, I, I've never done anything like this before. Even like with the coaches, uh, like just the coaches, it's real like a family environment. Just they're always looking out for you, checking on you, things of that nature. So it's a great- now I watched you play for the Tigers. So what will your role here be? Do you see it as different or similar? Uh, I think uh, some of it will be similar, but a lot different. Like uh, I'll be coming off the ball screen a lot more, uh, playmaking, getting to the basket more and not just being a shooter. So you're one of the people very happy about being able to transfer and move like this because it sounds like you've found a home. Yeah, I think I found a, a a good home, you know, uh, I, I mean, not everyone wants to transfer all the time because obviously the first school you pick, but I just feel like, you know, this, this is the right fit for me. Just how it's been so far has been a great experience. That sounds great. Thank you for sharing that with me. Thanks, Karen. I'll actually send you an email with some more information on the program so you can get a little bit more context. So uh, next question for Kellis Robinette. Hey, Mark, good to see you. How you like in Manhattan so far? Yeah, I like it a lot. It's good. Um, tell me about your first impressions of your new teammates. How have they impressed you in these first couple of weeks of practice? Uh, definitely, I would say just uh, all, all the teammates, uh, all my teammates, we're just learning. I feel like we're getting better each day. Just coach puts in a new play. Each day he uh, challenges, uh, challenges us with a new challenge each day. And I think guys attack it head on. And I think guys are really improving. Like Luke, he's really making tremendous strides. Like each day, how he's shooting, playmaking. You can tell he's really confident and comfortable right now. And just a lot of guys are making strides, especially the freshmen. You know, just basically they're getting thrown into the jungle and they're learning and picking it up fast. So. I think guys are really, you know, just learning, taking taking coaching, and I feel like, you know, it has a chance to be a really great year. I heard you got here quicker than anybody else. When did you officially move from Columbia to Manhattan? Uh, I finished uh, school early in Columbia, so I got down here May 16th, 17th, somewhere around there. Okay. How did you use that extra time to your advantage over the summer? Uh, I just worked out with Nate and uh, Will Spratt, Spratting, I think his name is. Uh, he's yeah, a former Spratt player. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but I, I worked out with Nate every morning at 8 a.m. So ever since, you know, we worked out every uh, in the summer every day since I got here. So Nate and I uh, really just work out every morning, shooting and stuff of that nature. Okay. And what, what was the mind, what was your mindset coming in? What did you really want to, you know, do to make a good impression on this team? And what, what did you want to do from day one here to, to help these guys? Uh, I really just kind of 
just being the older guy on the team, I really just wanted to just lead by example. Uh, that's kind of what I've been. And if guys need help, you know, they know they can always, you know, come and ask me. I always try to help them. But I just try to lead by example and work hard, be vocal, like just encourage the guys, you know, when coach gives us a challenge, you know, try to basically do it. Coach always talks about being mission focused. And I just kind of just try to keep the guys on track, being an older guy and being through it. And this is my third school, so I kind of know what to expect and just try to help guys, you know. And last one for me, but I know you've you've known Bruce for a long time. What's it like to actually play for him and have him as your coach here now? Uh, it's actually great. I've actually feel like just as a basketball player, I've really just I've gotten a lot better and just you know just learning the game. I feel like he's taught me a lot already so far. He, I've been, really been watching a lot of film. And he's just been, you know, really uh, trying to teach me to be a technician and just focus on the little things. And he's just been teaching me all. And I feel like I've been getting better every day, just whatever he challenges me with. Well, hey, good to hear. Thanks a lot, Mark. No problem. Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Mark, uh, what's your relationship like with all the coaches? You know, just talked about Bruce, but what about Coach Lowry and, um, you know, getting to meet Shane Southwell and, and Coach Henderson? What's your relationship like with all of them? I know you met Lowry along with Bruce a long time ago. So how's that all like? Yeah, uh, I really have a good relationship with Coach Lowry. Uh, I, I mean, I do my laundry at his house, so. He, <laughs> uh, Coach Larry and I have a really good relationship, and he recruited me, you know, three times. So we really have a, a good relationship. I watch a lot of film with Coach also. And Coach Henderson, he always just checks up on me. You know, I have a good relationship with all the coaches. Coach Hendo, I really, you know, we go eat sometimes. Like, it's just a, a great relationship. He tells me if I'm, like, he kind of Coach Hendo's that guy. He doesn't really yell too much, but he uh, like he really can like calm you down if you're getting a little too worked up. And Coach Shane, he uh, he really you know he knows a lot of basketball. He's good like working guys out, and he's helped me uh, helped me out a lot this summer with my game too, like ball handling, getting to the basket, stuff of that nature. What can we expect from you out on the floor this year? Um, handling the ball, shooting, or what kind of things can you do? Uh, I think I'm. I'm think I'm gonna do a lot of uh, playmaking to get guys open, uh, and I feel like I'll get in the the lane a lot and finish at the basket. And obviously, I'm gonna, you know, play hard and guard and, you know, knock down open shots. Are you comfortable possibly playing some small ball four? Yeah, I'll play. I'll play uh, four. I feel like the offense is so. Uh, I don't know, the motion, how coach teaches it, it really doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll be the four. I think I can play one through four. Um, I think I can guard some of the fours uh, sometimes. So if it's a smaller four. But we have so many different lineups. Like Ish probably will play the three some. Like we have a lot of a lot of guys we can do a lot of things with. So I think it'll be really fun. It will be really fun to watch this year. And then you said you can guard some fours. Last question I got for you is like, what, what kind of what, kind, what are some of your strengths on that end of the floor defensively? Uh, I think getting steals and also just, you know, one on one defense. Appreciate it, Mike. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Uh, next question to Greg Palmero. Hey, Mark. Um, I'm just curious. Um, a lot of people in the Missouri side of the, the equation were uh, a little surprised that you actually exercised the extra year. Uh, when did you decide that that was what you wanted to do and, and how did you land at, at K-State? I, I know you have the history with, with Coach Weber, but um, what, how was that process for you landing there? Uh, I just talked to my family uh, and I thought I I had a, a, a solid year at Mizzou, but I, I thought I could do better. And uh, I actually talked to Coach Martin about it, and he thought I could have a better year, but I just I just thought I should go somewhere else. I, I just didn't like my role at, at Mizzou, even though, I, I mean, those guys are great players. I played with a lot of great players. I just thought I could do more. Um, 
besides just being a shooter. And uh, I put my name in a portal on Coach Weber. He said I he thought I could do all those things here. So, and I didn't even waste my time. I uh, I committed right away. You know, seeing what other schools had, to, I just I've known those guys for uh, Coach Weber, Coach Lowry for all a long time, and I just thought this was the best place for me. Coach Weber was saying to us uh, earlier that he, you were one of the biggest surprises as far as um, the the quick uh, leadership and and uh, what is it besides maybe being the the oldest. Uh, uh, one of the older guys on on the team that that you think was was able to help with with taking on that leadership role. Uh, I just think it's the experience uh, I've had just at different places, uh, learning from different guys. Um, but I really just try to lead by example. That's kind of always been my thing. Just work hard, lead by example, and just uh, even here, uh, I think I've just grown as uh, holding guys more accountable. Uh, not trying to focus on myself so much and just try to focus on, you know, encouraging the other guys to do to do well, too, because once you lose your coach always says once you lose yourself in the team, you uh, you do better. And I feel like that's just what I've been doing so far. So. You're part of a contingent out there that is kind of St. Louis West uh, with uh, with Luke and uh, and Bradford. What are your impressions of, of this, the St. Louis area folks who landed at Kansas State? Oh, Davion, he's really, uh, can you repeat the question again? Sorry, you said, what do yeah, I think I'm about just, Luke and Davion? Yeah, just your, your impression you, now that there are several of you from the, the St. Louis region who are, uh, are out there in Kansas State, uh, what are your impressions of, of the other guys? Oh, well, Luke, he's really, like I said earlier, uh, Luke's really playing confident right now. Like, he's really playing great basketball. He really, when I pass it to Luke, he really doesn't miss. Like, even when he's wide open, like, he he's knocking every shot down. And he's playing a lot more confident, like, dribbling the ball, getting to the basket, uh, making tough shots. Um, so he's really... <laughs> they say he's playing like Chaminade Luke, and I, I would agree because I saw Luke play at Chaminade, and he was a, a beast. So he's uh, really playing great basketball right now. And Davion, he's just in the paint. I was uh, Davion's host at Mizzou, so I know Davion, and we've been pretty close friends for a long time. But just he works very hard. Um, he comes in every day, does extra conditioning. So he's just looking great out there right now. He's really vocal. I say Davion's a leader also. Like he, uh, a lot of people listen to what he has to say. And just around the basket, him and Casey go at it every day. They're, they're getting, they're pushing each other. So uh, Davion's really doing great too. Mark, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, another question for Arnie Green. Next, excuse me, next question, Arnie Green. Yeah, Mark, uh, just curious, you talked about that you fit in nicely here. Uh, has it helped that this is this is kind of the second transition for you to a new team? Do you feel like like this was easier for you maybe than when you did that the first time to, to come to Missouri? Or you think that experience maybe helped a little bit? I think the experience helped a little bit. Uh, I'm still learning a lot uh, here, but I definitely uh, – think, you know, this transition has been easier for me. And just, uh, I had a, the Mizzou uh, coaches, you know, I all had great relationships with uh, they're great people. I just, this here just, it's just feels like family. Like when the coaches, they, they teach, like I learn something new every day. And uh, I like, that's what I like. And I just keep getting better. So I see myself keep getting better with the coaches. So that's just uh, what I've seen so far. Yeah. Was it, did, that, did that maybe make it easier to step into more of a leadership role, yeah. do you think? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's definitely easier just how, how it's been so far. I, can, I mean, and they count on me to lead too, so I've just kind of taken on that role. Thanks. Uh, another question for Grant Flanders. Hey, Mark, one more. Uh, what do you think of, you know, the rest of the guards that we haven't really talked about? Obviously, I want to know your thoughts on Nigel Pack, Mike McGurl. Um, 
and then whoever else, uh, Marquise Noel. Um, what do you, what are your thoughts on the dudes around you at the guard position? Oh, Marquise, I say Marquise and Nigel, uh, they really can shoot. Uh, Marquise is really a special player. I think you guys will see that just, he's really electric. You know, when he starts making shots, he can really shoot it from anywhere. He has a lot of flashes game too. And just like on the ball pressure, it's just when he gets underneath you, like, it's like, you can't go anywhere. He's really strong. He's strong, just as strong as some of the bigs. Like he was bench pressing 95 pounds, uh, dumbbell bench 95 yesterday with the bigs. So he's really strong. He really plays bigger than what he is like. And he also leads. I would say Nigel, just playing with Nigel, like for my first time, just he can really shoot. It's like he uh, really doesn't miss open shots. And I mean, he's fun to play with. He can, you know, he makes people better around him. He's unselfish. So it's really fun to play with both of those guys, you know. And Mike, you know, Mike just, he's always just, I don't know how to explain. He's solid every day, just gets to the basket, knocks down open shots, plays hard on defense. Uh, I feel like we're really pushing each other to get better. Mike and I just guarding each other every day, going at it. And that's with all the guards. So I just feel like we have a lot of depth to do a lot of things. And all the, all I mean, we're, there's a lot of great players. I feel like it could be one person. It, it could be a different person each night for us. That's how, meant, that's how we're looking. So. I meant to add um, the freshman too, uh, that you probably won't see a lot of time this year, just came back from a tibia injury. But what do you think of Maximus Edwards, bigger dude, and what's he been able to do early on? Oh, he's actually uh, – he's been making strides each day, I would say. Um, he can really he can really shoot, like spot-up shoot. He's really good at that and just, like, straight-line drives because he's super athletic. He can oh, – it's like he puts his head on the rim. Like, he's – I bet he'll have a lot of uh, nice dunks, you know, this year just – he plays hard, he gets rebounds, and he's just learning. Like, he's open, he's very coachable. And that's what I like about Max. Like, he's very coachable, always asking for help. And uh, he's very athletic, so he'll be an exciting player to watch. Thanks, Mark. Uh, next question to Ryan Gilbert. Hey, Mark, you mentioned earlier about family. Is that something that you've also felt kind of around Manhattan and when you're on campus, just kind of feeling that family vibe and family atmosphere? Yeah, definitely. Manhattan kind of reminds me of uh, Edwardsville, uh, my hometown, just a very fam a family vibe. Like everyone's extremely nice around campus. Uh, even the people like going outside of campus. Uh, it's a great place to be around. I love the atmosphere here. Like I can't wait to see it, uh, you know, when we start playing Bramlage and fans can get back in there again. So I'm excited. Thank you. Uh, any other questions for Mark before we let him go? Okay. Mark, thank you. I appreciate the time. No, no problem. Okay, guys, I, I appreciate everybody's patience today. We'll, uh, like I said, I'll have some other 